I promised I'd be back and we're back with some more news. We've got about transfers and we've also got news on Simon Jordan. Talk about Michael Beale. Can he stand Simon Jordan? Louis Specky. Whatever. Get past the 15 minute but second. The 15 second barrier. Then I can say what I want. Rangers look to have finally kicked in the gear for the January transfer window. Preparations being made to see targets acquired and signed to make an immediate impact. The first name to emerge with a report that concrete interest is one that Vital Rangers covered this week. In an exclusive report by Football Scotland claiming that we have made contact in the pursuit of a midfield playmaker. Ahmed Kenducci of ES the TV said about the centre of transfer talks for an imminent move. 24 year old would be allowed to leave in the January window, but Rangers want to bring Caduce to Ibrox on an initial loan deal before tur turning it into a permanent move if he impresses. Of course, that is not what his team wants, and the Algerian side would rather sell him permanently if they can find the right deal, but conversations between the two clubs are still at a very early stage. I mean, of course, they want money up front, while well, Rangers get a loan, you know, they'll just get him. At the end of his deal, I believe that is what that means. Um, and that seems to be Rangers did that with Sungu. They got him on a loan. Such a weird sign in Sungu. Some midfielder on loan, like, came in, barely played, left at the trophy at the end of the season and fucked off. I bet you, I bet you most people forgot about wee Sungu. Pingu, Pingu, Sungu, the, 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 the wee penguin. Uh, but I, man, don't really know too much about this guy. Uh, would it be good? It could potentially be good. I mean, you know what? I'm all for signings, but they need to be good. They need to hit the ground running. Like, they really do, because we are, uh, you know... I I have faith that Bale can get the current players playing, but we need more if we are going to close a nine-point gap to a Celtic team that's very fucking good. And uh, talking of very good, Simon Jordan talks about that same team. He says, Simon Jordan writes, Michael Bale off as Rangers boss. Told He gets told by Simon Jordan he'll get his backside handed to him by Celtic. Jordan reckons Celtic are miles ahead of Celtic. Jordan reckons Celtic are miles ahead of Celtic? Nope. Um... That would be Rangers, the Celtic, who will leave Michael Beale in their wake. I mean, who, who writes these things? I mean, they're getting paid hundreds, thousands, man, and they can't they can't string a sentence together, much like me, but you know, when the sink hang in front of you isn't even put, put right, how, how am I supposed to get it right? Somebody understand, but look at, look at this guy. Have you ever seen more of a punchable face than Simon Jordan? Simon Jordan gets knocked out. Simon Jordan reckons Michael Beale will reap what he sows as the pundit laid into the Rangers box on TalkSport. Like, I hope it goes well. It better go well. Uh, I mean, so far, Beale has had nothing but the right things to say. Nothing but, no, you know. It, nothing but everything he said has been right. I mean, fucking hell, man. Am I on the meth? No, I'm not on the meth. Never did meth. Never did drugs. Anyway, Beale left QPR for an Ibrox return last month and is hoping to overturn Celtic's nine-point fantasy at the top of the Premiership. But Jordan doesn't fancy his chances of doing that as he look, looks... As he took aim at the boss for the lack of loyalty, he showed QPR by walking away. Oh! The same guy, right? The same guy who'd have been wanking off Steven Gerrard for leaving Rangers to go to Philly. The same guy that'd been wanking off Brendan Rodgers to leaving Celtic to go to Leicester. But, oh, he left the fucking Celtic. He left them. No, he wasn't doing that with Rodgers. He wasn't greeting about Rangers when Gerrard left. Oh, but he left an English team, a shitey English team in the championship, supported by James Lawrence Alcott. And what? Wait, what? Is he supposed to stay, man? Pishy QPR? The shittest team in London? The only, the only bit of relevance in the 21st century is the fact that Adel Trapp played for them and then Rio Ferdinand tried it for three months. Get to fuck. Michael Beale knew what he was doing. Till next time though, Michael Beale's the man. Fuck Simon Jordan. No surrender. Good night. Peace. Ho.